Um, and because I can't just tell you the rational, I have to care, I have to go back to the yeah. vision. Okay, so the vision was. Uh, um, I felt myself an innovator, but I never technology-wise innovated anything. So I thought, how comes that I feel an innovator if I never innovated anything, according to the definition of innovation? And I felt the, 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 the spirit which is in Africa, because I'm working in Africa since uh, business-wise since 10 years. Um, then, based on that, I said to myself, well, how can I do anything or what can I do in order to foster innovation and to bring African-led innovation to Africans? And, um, and I thought, well, what I can do and what I do is from the finance side. I, I've met businesses, I've made, I've made uh, various ventures, but always from the financial angle. Um, so. Based on this, I said to myself, okay, innovation is not just creativity, but it's more. You have to have a creative idea. You have to bring this idea to the next level. And what can you do to bring that to the next level? So first, then I said, okay, now I have this foundation. And uh, um, based on, on, on the foundation, I wanted to create a product which people and other people which think like me have a platform. So this platform is the innovation price for Africa. I wanted to have a voice out where, because I saw a lot of untapped potential around, uh, because I visited a lot of, of garage, of, of, of people who have good ideas, of, uh, of, of, of universities, of people who pretend to have the newest ideas, and um, I saw that the ideas are good, but it's lacking a kind of attraction to motivate the financial side to come into that game. So, on the rationals then I said, okay, good, I need to have a platform where the innovators have a voice and can be seen so that innovation is seen outside to the world. Then I said to myself, okay, how can I do that? I have to create a price so that the innovators get the trust by the money side, because they say, well, okay, if that stuff is not good, at least I get something out of it. I get visibility, I get money, so I have a platform. And um, <clears throat> the follow-ups of this is very crucial. So, as I cannot do everything alone, I need a kind of a system around. So I said to myself, okay, what is next? How can you create a system around so that the other actors, which are which are cool, like lawyers, auditors, uh, and consultants, people who make the business plan, people who the technical, uh, people who are helping you technically to bring your innovation to the next level. So <clears throat> the next thing which I want to do is to connect this system. Okay. So first the price, the voice, create the spirit, create the traction, and now the next is going to be create the system try to interconnect universities, but not on the theoretical, theoretical level, but on the practical level. So what they learn, for example, you have, as I said there in the panel, often you have somebody who doesn't even know how a work contract looks like, but a student, student of a university level can bring him that. So you can get cheap access to that system. And that's, not, that, that, that's the next point. And then the third point is going to be more in the finance side. So educate and create smart money. Not just money coming with short-term ideas and say, listen, I have to, you have to bring that kind of payback within this period, otherwise we kill you. Or people which are just sharks and trying to, to, to rob the idea. But smart, smart money, people who are sensitive to the culture, who have an understanding of the risk profile, who have an understanding of the culture we are in, the momentum we are in. So this is this is the this is the vision of what I would like to.